Actress and movie producer and a happily married mom of twins, Funke Akindele, has expedited the arrest of a security guard who broke the head of a woman with a belt. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. I saw that video yeah. and um, I went to the comment session and people were kind of like trivializing the whole situation. Mm. But we don't take the case of um, human rights and Seriously. human rights violation mm -hmm. in Nigeria so seriously. People see it like, oh, what did she do? Yeah. And if you read uh, Funke's caption, she said she didn't even get into their territory. I don't know the full story on yes, this one, but I'm just going to address it from the part that treats other people the way you want to be treated, yeah. especially if they are not affecting you in any way. Even if yeah. they are, there mm -hmm. are other ways to go about certain things yes. than attacking them violently. Which I would, I'd like to like bring into consideration the issue with um, Shegu and Rinze and, and his house boy, mm, which was kind of like the same thing that happened where people had to like step into the matter. I'm like, okay, this is wrong. What is wrong is wrong. Mm. It, I don't really care about what an individual does. I don't believe in jungle justice. Mm. I don't believe in taking matters into your own hands and being violent against another human being. Because there have been several situations where people are violent against someone and it turns out that there's actually nothing mm -hmm. you know, deep that happened. For example, the Akure, I don't know if you were aware of the Akure um, church that was burnt down because they assumed that there was a baby that was buried, buried you know, on the altar. Around, and people yeah. already just sprang into action, they burnt down the church and then it was not like there was no baby, no, no baby. you know, that was on the altar. So so in this part of the world, we are very, very quick to just jump into conclusions and just say, okay, well, maybe she deserved to be Our so-called human she... rights activists, mm -hmm. I wonder what they're doing because a lot of them yeah. just jump on the bandwagon when it's somebody important, yeah. somebody, we are, we're leaving somebody a, we're influential leaving a, we're in the society. We're living in a banana republic where jungle justice is it's, the order of the day. Yeah, still yeah, born, very, they still very, born there is no, sad. There is no justification for anybody, even if she invaded your territory. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are laws in place for you to know what to do. Mm -hmm. Somebody's invading your territory. Take her to the police. And that's why you're a security means. guard. Else. Exactly. And, and wasn't the security guard. It's pretty sad. I'm so I'm so I'm so proud of Fuka Kindele that she could pull out this action to get that security mm. guard arrested. Yeah. So that is something that's to let you know is something he's been used to. This is not the first time he's maybe assaulted a woman, mm. or maybe, woman or maybe a guy. Now something happened some time ago at one of the famous supermarkets on Admiralty Way. You know, I just this man was enraged. He was actually beating up one of the security doormen. Oh. You know, and people were like, okay, what's going on? He was like, he assaulted his little boy. Mm. You know, I think the boy took kids will be kids. The, kid, yeah, the boy exactly. took something from the store and was going to walk out with it. You know, this guy actually hit this little boy. Wow, the I'm like, I'm like, don't you have decency? Oh, That's geez. just a baby. You know what I mean? Babies yeah. will be babies. Mm. You know, and so for me, and it, again, it still tells the kind of society we live in. Yeah, people yeah. don't have regard for other human beings and especially mm -hmm. women. Yeah. Women are at a disadvantage in the country we live in. And so people feel they have the right to do anything they, they will do against them and get away yeah. with it. You know, and that's why somebody would stand on this premise of authority and glorify rape. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. that if I spend money on you and you don't follow mm -hmm. me home, I'm actually going to rape you. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. So you know, I think basically people should start standing up for people like that. When you yeah. see such going on, please start. No, regardless, let us even assume she stole. Yeah. It Let's assume it's no she, it's no excuse. she did whatever. It's not it's excuse, no excuse at all. You know? But I think in this part of the country, the problem is that we're very desensitized. Which is what violence. I'm going to um, end this conversation with, that the mm -hmm. change we seek starts with me and you. Yeah. Until we change our mindsets, until we change the way we think, until we change the way we love, until we change the way we treat other people, we that would never get that change. change. And kudos I think... To kudos to Funke Akindele. Kudos to Funke Big shout out to you, Jennifer.